Okay, so Dan's got me flattened out again. Cross face, underhook. From here, I'm going to establish what we call a lockdown. So, a lockdown, I'll take the outside leg, I thread it over his leg, and then I thread my leg over my foot and under his ankle. From there, I can, I can extend him out, which will give me some relief to the pressure from the cross face. Um, I can also then take my hand and put it on the hip just to give me a little bit of extra support or framing. And then the idea is to try and get the unhook. So the first method that I normally use is we'll go to the jaws of life. So idea, ideally, I'll take this outside hand, I cup his chin, I try and turn the head. Once I've turned the head, I go two hands together, I push him up. As I push him up, it creates space, I bow the unhook. Okay, from here, what I'll do is I'll do a whip up. So a whip up, I lift the leg up, and I'm going to swing it in that direction. So I swing it there, and I swing it, I'll come up to my side, and then I'll start blocking, blocking the, the cross face arm over here. So I'll frame on his bicep, um, generally, and then from here I can work for a couple of sweeps. So the first one will be, I'm going to transition to dog fox, so let's just move around this way. Okay, so I'll transition to dog fight from here. I'll come up onto my elbow. I'll pull the middle leg out. I like to keep my, my outside leg basically still over. And then from here, I'll dive for his far side knee. And this is basically like a, a re-tackle sweep. So what I'll do is I'll dive across, cut the knee, drive him forward, back to go over, and move to side control. Okay, so that's the one. The other one So we use a slightly different method to uh, to recover the underhook this time. So we'll still go to lockdown. So I establish the lockdown, stretch them out. But this time I'm gonna whip down. So earlier on I whipped up, now I'm gonna whip down. And the whole idea behind this is that as I swing him this way, if you notice how his posture is compromised, he's forced to post, otherwise I'll sweep him. As he posts, I dive my hand through, underhook, and I whip back up, and I'll be back in this position. So just move your base out a little bit further, and then whizzer on this side. So Daniel will whizzle my arm there. From here, I'll come up to the elbow. Again, I can pull my, my leg out. And then this is, I call this the run around sweep. So I don't really know what the name is, but, but I use it quite effectively. And basically what happens is, if the guy whizzes me, I will literally run around his butt and I'll sweep him over. So from here, I just run around. And I'll sweep them over. Okay. Right. 